Hi guys. So as you can see, the title of this video is what if tag? Woo. I'm so excited because I remember I watched the Mary show 20, uh, do this tag. And I was so like, I loved the questions. So I was like, please someone tag me. And of course my girl BP makeup, she tagged me and I truly appreciate it because I was so excited and I just had to do it immediately. Um, even though she just like literally posted her video up like today and I'm like, I have to make it. Don't mind me. I will be reading from my computer. Um, so I might go like this cause you know me with no glasses. I'm legally blind pretty much. Question number one, if you can meet any person dead or alive, who would it be? <laughs> I think anyone that knows me knows who I'd meet and it'd probably have to be Justin Timberlake for male for a male um, I've I don't even know what it is I I've loved him ever since I was a little little girl like fifth sixth grade you know and I feel like that's really young you know to fall in love with somebody <laughs> But yeah, I would just love to meet him and just learn from him. He's so amazingly talented and creative and I just love everything he does. And that would be one connection that would be amazing to have. So yeah, Justin Timberlake for sure. Um, if it was a girl, I it's, it's, it's hard to choose a girl because I love all the Kardashians. But I think someone who I really loved growing up and watched a lot other than Britney Spears, I would say Hilary Duff. I really, really admire her. And... Um, She's around my age, so it'd be kind of cool to just hang out with her, you know? Number two, question number two. If you could visit any place in the world, where would it be? <laughs> Easy. Um, oh, excuse me, I have a cold. Um, the place I would love to visit would be Spain. Anywhere in Spain, really. Um, I know I want to go there on my honeymoon. Uh, and that's just, it's going to happen. <laughs> question number three. If you could have chosen your own name, what would it be? <sighs> This is hard because I always look at myself and, you know, my name is Melaine, so it's not like a normal name. And I kind of appreciate my name now. Uh, before, when I was growing up, I was like, Ugh, why did I get this ugly name? But I kind of appreciate it now because it's like a one-star name, you know, like Madonna, Mariah. <laughs> um, but I really like Mimi a lot. I really feel like Mimi fits my personality. And if I could really make that legally my name, that would be really awesome. So a Mimi would be great. Um... Or if we're getting fancy, I might say Blair. I kind of like that name a lot. Yeah, Blair. All right, so number four. If you were if you were invisible for a day, what would you do? This is, um, I think if I was invisible for a day, I would maybe go to the beach. <laughs> um, if you guys follow me on my personal channel, you know why. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think if I was invisible for a day, I would love to just go places like movie sets or, you know, TV shows, anything where I can be with what I love. So production, be with actors, actresses, celebrities, anything. So the beach and, and then some. <laughs> Number five, if you had one wish, what would it be? Well, obviously I would love to have my family live out here with me because that would be great and would be amazing. But if it was like a per, like a, a wish that I've always wished would come true, um, other than diseases and all that stuff to not be around, um, I would have to say, you know, to be a big star. <laughs> okay, number six. If you could be any animal, which animal would you be and why? Um, my favorite animal in the whole world is pi are pigs. Uh, I love pigs, even though I tend to sometimes eat pork. I know it's so horrible of me. Um, I don't know if I would want to be a pig, though. Um, I'm thinking I might want to be like somewhere in the rainforest, um, be like the lion or something, something where someone can't really attack me that well. <laughs> so be the predator. Um, even though I'm like not a predator in real life, I don't really know. I think lions are gorgeous and I love like gorillas and stuff like that. So anything in the rainforest be A-OK -okay with me. Number seven, if you could bring one character to life from a book, who would it be? Ooh, one character. Um, I read, but I don't read as much as I, I should, so I, I don't really have very many characters to just pass out there. Um, I love any one of the girls from uh, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I feel like maybe if, the, I think the pants are, would be considered a character now. Maybe. If the pants are considered a character, I would love the pants to be in real life because if you could put on pants and just have a great day and like magic comes up, you know, happens, then for sure. Edward Cullen. Things I read are not character based. Let's just put it that way. Okay, number eight. If you had one superpower, what would it be? I think my superpower 
would be to be invisible. Um, I know we just had that as a question, but I think to be invisible would be really cool. Although I do like to be seen and heard, so that might be kind of tough. But I think um, if I was in a sticky situation and I had to get out quickly, I think being invisible would be awesome because no one would know you were there. You know what I'm saying? Invisible. Nine. If you could be any age again for one week, what age would you be and why? This is a hard one because I really don't remember an age where I liked being. <laughs> um, I think if I could go back and since I know how life is now, um, I would probably say 16. You know, I really enjoyed being 16. That was when I had my first job and my, my first kind of relationship and um, just trying to be a grown up and I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more just staying young because I think when you're young you want to be older and uh, vice versa when you get older so I think it'd be 16 16 was a good year number 10 if you could go back in time to watch any concert or festival what one would it be oh I don't know <laughs> there's a lot um I really back in the east coast in New York we have uh, a concert festival Kind of sort of it's called uh, country fest and i absolutely loved country fest i only went i only got to go one year because by the time i went i was uh, you know ready to go and move to california so um i had so much fun going to country fest it was amazing not only country artists keith urban but um you know i just got to chill out and hang out with friends and pretend to drink and <laughs> it was a lot of fun um other than that one probably Britney Spears because I remember going to a Britney Spears concert. It was a dream within a dream tour. I remember this. I remember hating her because she was dating Justin Timberlake at the time. And, and um, I remember O-Town opened up for her and that's the only reason why I went to the concert. Secretly, I really wanted to see her but I was always telling people, I want to just see O-Town because I hate her. So um, if I can go back and see that concert and actually really enjoy it like I wanted to, you know, like, yeah, I love Britney, you know. I, I would, yeah, Britney. Brittany, love you. So, number 11. If you could do anything, what would you do? Oh, excuse me. Anything right now? Right now, if I could, I would absolutely go back home, see my mommy. See my mommy and my family. That'd be so great if I could just get on a plane and just go right now. Um, other than that, be on a movie set? <laughs> I don't even know. Number 12. If you could master any one skill, what would it be? Patience. <laughs> if I could learn patience, I think my life would be a whole lot less stressful and I think that I would just have a clear head and patience is something that it's it's taken me a while to even gain the more patience that I have now so patience for sure I would love to master and kickboxing okay so I would love to tag a few of my friends here on YouTube um, if you would love to do this because I was so excited when I first saw it on YouTube by the Mary show 20 um, if you want to do this video, this tag, you go for it, guys, please. If you want a video response, that'd be great. I'd love to see it, um, but do it. It's so much fun. Okay, so I would love to tag uh, Pop Music 5, The, Laz the Lazy Lily Pad, Toya Boo 2, Polka Dot Peony, Losing Laura, uh, Brown Eyed Bella. I know. <gasps> Lady Warp Blimdinger. <laughs> Jessica 21, Marie 21, and Beth Brutality. You guys, I love you guys. Um, I watch you guys all the time. You guys are great. And I would love for you guys to do this tag. It's so much fun. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thanks again, BP Makeup. I appreciate it. And love you guys. Bye.